set up. I, I have just like a false sense of fear. She is very toxic. She is a thief. Honey, honey, honey. Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube who is fed up with a lot of things. So I haven't done one of these in a while because there really hasn't been a reason, but now there is. Today is a get ready with me and gossip because I have so many things to say about what's going on in my industry and in my community. So today I will have everything listed in the info box that I'm gonna be using on my face. And yes, they are affiliate links. I have never hidden the fact that this is what I do for a living. This is how I feed my family. This is how I pay my bills, okay? So I use affiliate links because this is my business and it's how I survive. <laughs> and anyone hiding that, I, I have truly never understood. And we're gonna get into some things today, but I'm not really gonna be spending time talking about each product. We're gonna be talking about something, things that are very important. So Miss Jacqueline Schill has uploaded a video and I'm sure you've all seen it. And when I watched it, my face almost melted off in anger because this woman has created such a false, just like a false sense of fear in this industry and in this community for so, so long and a false sense of toxicity. Don't get me wrong, she is very toxic and she has ruined a lot of women's businesses and I can name a few right off uh, the top of my head. Uh, Kaylin Nicholson, Marlena Stell, Lana Jewelries, they're, they're fine, but stealing, copying, she's a thief, okay? She is a thief. And Jen Gerard's gonna be coming out and has said some things on social media publicly about this. And I am so tired of one, hearing that the beauty community is dead. It's not dead, it's alive and well. And there's so many of us on here that love what we do and are honest and really actually like connecting with our audiences and don't just say it and then just push product after product that we have created and have taken credit for that really aren't ours. It's not dead. And I'm tired of actually hearing all of my peers say that it's dead. Just because you're feeling down and out about what you do, it doesn't mean that your industry's dead. It just means you're in a slump. You just gotta keep going, you know? Uh, put your big girl pants on and just keep going, keep pushing. If you actually love it, it's your passion. It's what you do for a living. The industry's not dead. The community's not dead. It's alive and well. And I've been here for over 10 years, okay? and I've kept my mouth shut about a lot of issues. I've seen a lot of people just chitter, chatter, chitter, chatter, chitter, chatter. And I'm 34 and I'm done keeping my mouth shut not to be toxic, but because I care about my community, about you guys, which is my community and also my industry. I care about it because I love it. So it's time for me to start speaking up about things that I know and things that bother me because I can't make a difference sitting behind the scenes and just not saying anything, you know? I have helped so many people behind the scenes, not Jacqueline Hill herself, but so many successful creators behind the scenes who have just left me in the dust and I'll, you know, whatever. I've just bit my tongue, bided my time, but I am tired of people like Jaclyn Hill ruining a really good thing for no reason. So let's start putting some makeup on and get into my thoughts, you guys. I've been on Twitter for as long as I've been on YouTube. My Twitter has never popped off as much as it did for the past week. Uh, my tweets went crazy and I just cannot believe it. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at I'm Mallory Brooke. Um, and you can see the tweets that I'm going to talk about today. But let's go ahead and bronze up our face while we talk. So Jaclyn Hill is closing her two brands, Cozy and Jaclyn Roxanne Jewelry, which girl, both of those Ross, Alibaba, AliExpress, drop shipping crap brands should be closed. They should be closed. It doesn't matter who it is. Stop lying like you put thought and energy into anything that looks like that at all. You can get the same exact products drop shipped. Here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with drop shipping. A lot of people do that with merch. I do that with merch, but I design my own merch. I actually put thought into my own merch and I create what I like and what I would personally want to wear. Jacqueline herself admitted that she, you know, 
that was one of the things she said. It's like she, her biggest regret in life, not to mention her ex-husband is dead. One of her biggest regrets in life is the whole lipstick gate thing and not putting enough energy and thought into Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Girl, for one thing, are we ever gonna own up to the actual documentation that we all know exists and is true that you have never ever owned an ounce of Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, that you were a collaborator. And this is where my Twitter popped off. And I will read this tweet to you here in a second. But one of the employees, one of the former employees that worked on Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics spoke up in this comment under Jaclyn's video. And ooh, I don't even, don't even think about it. I definitely left my own comment if you want to see that. And also saw some other larger influencers in support of Jaclyn, which we'll get into. I can't even find Twitter on my phone anymore because of the X thing. It's like, I don't, I can't even recognize it. Okay, you guys, seriously, let me just... <laughs> Ooh, looking at this, just like my heart starts racing because I'm not used to getting this much traction at all. My tweet has 3,145 likes and 200,000 people saw this, okay? So <laughs> this person's comment says, hearing you talk about how absent you were from Jaclyn Cosmetics is so validating. I worked on Jaclyn Cosmetics via Forma and gave 110% every day to your brand and you com you were completely oblivious, did the bare minimum. And what's worse that I couldn't even take pride in working on the brand because it was all about you, Jacqueline, and Jacqueline working on everything for years and doing it all. When it's the furthest from reality of the situation, I hope you think twice when doing business in the future because you are not the only victim. So well said. Jacqueline Hill has so many victims of her manipulation, lies, and tearing apart other women's businesses. First of all, number one victim, her delusional audience, okay? And I'll say this, I I, in the beginning, I watched Jaclyn Hill. I didn't really see anything wrong with her. And then like things started coming out and I was like, oh, I can't watch her anymore. This is so fake. And like, I could see through it. She has manipulated her audience so well that they believe that she should take a break and that this woman, that Jaclyn Hill is literally just closing these brands because she needs to take a beat and she needs to reset and recenter. No. Jaclyn Hill is out of money, okay? Out of money, she cannot continue to pump money from Jaclyn Cosmetics into these two other really shitty, really shitty brands, Cozy and Jaclyn Roxanne. Girl, you can get that everything on Amazon. You can, she's selling blankets for $100 that you can get on AliExpress for $5, okay? I mean, of course you have to purchase like a large order to get even more of a discount, but you can literally buy these blankets for $5. You can buy her slippers for $3.99 and she's charging, I think it was $50, okay? Where am I going with this? Oh, yes. The, and, and, and they still support her and they still see this as her taking accountability. We gotta move on to blush real quick. Today, I forgot to say, I'm creating like a berry type look. Like a, like a nice little, like a berry Barbie look. It's not a Barbie look, so don't, don't. That product just shot across the room, girl. I don't know where it went, but I better find it later because that's gonna cause a stain. So number one victim, her audience, and they are just eating it up. They are just really eating it up and wanting to stay victims. And you know what? Good for you. If you really don't mind being lied to, like people like literally do not care that Jacqueline just like literally just lies and gets away with it. And they don't care. They don't mind supporting someone like that. That is what is so baffling to me. It's just like, what? And it's the same people that like get mad at Shein. When you're purchasing Jacqueline Roxanne and, her, and Cozy, honey, 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 think about it for a second. Please think about it for a second. The drop shipping of it all. <gasps> you don't think that there's slave labor, labor re involved in Jaclyn Roxanne jewelry and cozy? So these employees have had to sit back and watch Jaclyn Hill take credit, say she's passionate day in, day out, and they have not been able to say anything. What I was back to my point about her not being able to afford it because Forma went bankrupt, okay? There has been a lot of money that has had to be been shuffled around and all of this stuff. And anyway, there's other things that are in speculation, but she's not closing. She's not closing down Cozy or Jaclyn Roxanne out of the good of her heart. Please, who 
in their right mind, in their right mind, okay? In their right mind, not people drinking Jacqueline Kool-Aid, okay? Believes that this woman is closing down those brands because she's taking ownership. You didn't even say Kaylin's name. That's the first thing that I noticed. A smaller Canadian creator, smaller? Kaylin Nicholson has a few channels and across all of them, she's got a few million subscribers. Smaller? It's another way for Jaclyn Hill to undermine another woman and another business owner. And I just am so sick of seeing the impact that Jaclyn Hill has on this community and on this industry. And I'm sorry, and I'm just gonna say this now. When I was on Glam Masters, Manny was like really supported me more than, not personally, but like on his socials, supported me being on that show more than some of my friends did. And I was thankful for that. I was thankful for that. But I, seeing him, one, just kind of dismiss the Colleen Ballinger stuff. And then now the, the supportive, I'll have it on the screen, the supportive comments that he leaves Jacqueline. This is where it starts to really get to me because people believe that this community and this industry is dead because these are the people who are the loudest, the most controversial and the bigger, you know, audience that these creators have, the larger creators supporting these other toxic larger creators, it keeps that cycle going and it keeps people who are under the umbrella of the lies and the all of the negativity feeling like this community is dead. When it's not, there's plenty of people on this platform and across other social platforms that love beauty, that love creating content. It's not just Manny and Laura Lee and Jeffree Star and Jaclyn Hill and James Charles. It's, that's not, that's not this community. This community is built, you know, by a lot of other people, okay? So that has to stop. Stop, please. Larger creators out there who's not, they're not gonna see this. Stop supporting liars, thieves, and manipulators and narcissists on your public platforms. Take accountability by calling your so-called friend out. That support is not being a friend. I saw so many comments under Manny's comment saying, so glad to see you guys still being friends. That's not a friend, that's a yes man, okay? <laughs> and that is why this cycle continues in the same toxic Ferris wheel. Okay, like I just, I can't see another freaking supportive comment on Jaclyn Hill's crap. The woman said that her lipsticks were her biggest regret in life. And then there's so many people that she has destroyed on the way up. You don't have any regrets about destroying other women's businesses. You don't have any regrets or sadness about your ex-husband. You don't wanna, you don't wanna say anything of value at all. It's about you. Like your, like your employee said, who worked on your, brand, on your brand, not your employee, I'm sorry, you, you didn't own Jacqueline Cosmetics, so let me, let me back that up. A former, former employee who worked on your brand, they said it best, it's all about Jack, Jacqueline and Jacqueline, and that's it. It's not about anybody else, you know? It's not about any of the former employees, it's not about Marlena, you know, and Makeup Geek, and the lies, and the things that you spun to keep Marlena around your finger and in your Rolodex just in case something didn't work out. Do you know how just like fucked up that is? Like you're working on a different collaboration all the while you're working on one with your friend, keeping her in your back pocket and she loses her company because of you? <gasps> okay, it's not about Kaylin Nicholson, someone who had the brand Co's forever. Like, are you kidding me? And you have forced a woman to rebrand, lose her brand. So when she rebrands and has everything new, you go, eh, I don't want it anymore. What? What? kind of childish, evil shit is that? You go, let me go ahead and take your livelihood from you. <sighs> let me just shove it in my mouth like Doritos and Cheetos that I eat on my diet. Just, <sighs> you know, to puke it back out and say, eh, I don't want it anymore, you can have it. Are you kidding me? Are we understanding the evil, like gross selfishness that that is? Ooh. And then we have Lana Jewelry, okay? And I'm someone who ha had a jewelry line. I handmade my jewelry, all of it. Like I didn't have like a warehouse or production or anything like that. It was just me doing kind of like crafty jewelry and also cute bobby pins and things like that. So I handmade everything. I know what it takes to like kind of have to be in a creative space, make, make products, 
for customers and all. It's hard. And then you have someone like Jacqueline who has the world at her fingertips for no reason or justifiable reason whatsoever, who just goes, yeah, I like that. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna make it cheaper. So, you know, the response from Lana Jewelry and everything, I did, that was great. Just like, it, it's just like also like the trademarking thing. We all know Kaylin didn't trademark it. Who would think? I don't think that I'm not sitting here going, I've used I'm Fine Help Me. I created that years ago. It's not trademarked, but I'm not gonna sit here and think someone like Jacqueline Hill's gonna come out with an I'm Fine Help Me uh, loungewear line, but then she does. And then what do you do? You go, why'd you do that? Well, you didn't trademark it. <laughs> She's that like big old brat on the on the playground going, eh, eh, eh. that's what I see, except it destroys people's livelihoods. Like this is serious shit, okay? Anyway, I'm so mad, I'm so mad. She is very toxic. All right, I had to calm down and get my brows done off camera. Gather my thoughts. Beauty community is not dead. The beauty industry is not dead, okay? There's a world outside of the people that you hate watch. I hate to tell you. And Jacqueline Hill fans, there's a world outside of your Queen Doritos, okay? God, maybe it's all the MSG that's just eating away at her brain that just causes her to be an absolute diagnosable narcissist. So just watch who you're paying attention to. Watch who you're watching because the more you watch them, the more they get pushed, the more of them you see, the more of them that just sticks around. And it's just, I'm tired of the absolute sewage just sticking around, you know, pushing products that they don't care about, that they don't use in real life. And they're they're sitting there going, you know, and Jacqueline's done it too. Like, oh yeah, even though I use these high-end products, let me tell you something, this e.l.f. lipstick, the $1 lipstick is just as good as this one. I can tell you right now that it's not. It's not, it isn't just as good. It isn't, and I will never on my channel sit here and tell you that a drugstore product, sometimes they can be equally as good or almost as good, but they are never the same. They are not the same product. An e.l.f. lipstick is not the same product as a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. You know, it's this, it's deceit. And then people purchase these products and go, wait, this is crap. Like all influencers and all content creators, they're just liars because this is crap. I don't know, take some personal responsibility in who you watch and what you choose to believe. And just like Michaela saying that her freaking wedding was not sponsored by e.l.f., who's believing that? Who's believing that? I'm sorry. Even if she didn't get a paid a dime by e.l.f., getting gift bags for your guests by a brand is technically a sponsorship, okay? It's like a freaking brand's name on a race car, even though they get you know, paid, but I'm just saying it's still in a way a sponsorship, okay? Like, I just don't know who's not believing that. I don't believe that Michaela said, hey, Elf, is it okay that I use your name on this kissing booth that I made? Please, please, please. She has millions of followers, girl. How do you think she affords to pay Mario and Chris Appleton to get her ready for her sponsored wedding? Sponsorship money, whether she discloses it or not. Like I just, you know, and I know that the average audience does not know these things, but also like, it doesn't mean that you should feed into it at all. Also it, say, say Elf didn't sponsor anything. Okay, say they didn't sponsor anything. Why in the heck would you want a brand's crap all over your wedding day stuff in your wedding photos if they didn't pay you? That's just the tackiest shit I've ever heard. I would not put Charlotte Tilbury above a photo booth at my wedding for no reason. Like put two and two together and stop watching and supporting the liars. You know, I refuse to believe that the audience's gut does not tell them the truth. Maybe it doesn't, I don't know. Maybe people are really just that, I'm gonna say it, stupid. Or, you know, you just choose to close your eyes or maybe like Jacqueline's audience, they just don't care. I think we have almost gotten to a point where people just don't care. They don't care that they're being lied to. They don't care uh, that the person is just so disingenuous and manipulates them all the time. Maybe they just don't care. Honey, honey, honey. So you guys, you guys are gonna have to let me know. Do you believe that Michaela's wedding was not sponsored? And would you have some brand's name on your wedding stuff if they weren't paying you? 
Like really think it through, really, really think it through. Like I just don't understand why anyone would think that someone would just want brands names everywhere for no reason, okay? It was sponsored. But the reason why I'm talking about Michaela, cause I really don't like, it's just like, it's like we've gotten to this point where it's like, this person's a liar, oh well, look at what they're doing now, lying to us again, let's keep watching them. No, stop watching them. But the reason why I'm bringing up Michaela is, you know, she's obviously modeling herself after somebody else we know, somebody else we're talking about today. The name is Jacqueline Hill. <laughs> and this just proves we have Michaela because we had Jacqueline. Because Jacqueline came first, we got Michaela. Okay, and we got brands paying these people to, to lie or just like not caring that they're lying because they get the views. Who cares about long-term conversion, honey? Do you have the views? Do you have the millions of followers? Good. Do you have the millions of followers because you're so controversial that everyone just hate watches you and like conversion's not really that great. It wouldn't be as good if we worked with an honest creator who actually loves our products. Who cares? They don't get the views. It's just absolutely sickening to me, but you know, Jaclyn Hill getting away with all of this for so long and God only knows what we don't really know about. You know what I mean? Her getting away with this for so long has just opened the door for people like Michaela to walk right through and to give us the bullshit that we get served every day in our algorithms because we hate watch these people and we hate watch them all the way up to watching them put that little ski mask on and creep on into the next person's business and take everything they have. And then we go, oh my God, can you believe this? Absolutely. We've been watching it happen for years. And then we have, you know, their friends and colleagues out here publicly supporting them. <gasps> what? Anyway, so maybe, maybe if we start supporting people who love what they do and are honest with us, we will see more doors opened for those types of people and less doors opened for people like Michaela and Jacqueline. And we need to hold the other creators accountable that hold that door wide open for them. Manny, don't stop supporting the wrong people. You know, it's, it's, it's not hard. I don't care like how friendly you are with someone. If you know what they're doing is so absolutely wrong and you've seen someone destroy another woman's business and then another woman's business and then try to, you know, undermine another woman's business and who, knows who else she screwed over so badly. You gotta say, hey girl, maybe don't do that because you're making a bad name for the rest of us and this is gonna cause a ripple effect in our own businesses and livelihoods for years to come. Please stop it, BFF, bestie. Can you not have honest conversations with your friends? If you can't, they're not your friends. Did I even say what kind of look I was going for today? Just like, yeah, I did. I said berry Barbie, like kind of grungy berry Barbie. I need to add a little more this eyeshadow to the left side. And I know my liner smudging, so I haven't set the concealer on my lids yet. And that's for a purpose, because I want to blend something else on here. All right, let's start getting to blend that over. I've been using, I'll have everything below. Again, affiliate links. I'm gonna use the M Cosmetics Cosmic Pearl Eyeshadow in Wish. I was using Scorpius for the shadow right over my liner. And I'm just gonna apply this in like a sheer layer over. Just want like a really nice kind of glowy, grungy, berry type of lid. Also, I want to address another thing that really pissed me off when I was watching that video is that Jacqueline said that they reached out to Kaylin. Oh, we reached out to Kaylin and we just got no response. So whatever. It's like, it's like she just oozes falsities. Just what do I feel like lying about today that my audience will fall for? <laughs> Cause I can do it. It's like, do you wake up Jacqueline and go, what can I make up today? This is gonna be fun. Let's see if they believe this. Like I'm wondering because it's just absolutely, it's gaslighting, it's manipulative, it's abusive because people support you financially. You are financially abusing your audience and you don't care. And I don't think they do either, but they really should. I'm gonna care enough on behalf of your audience that's just apparently bamboozled. Right over all of that, I'm gonna apply this shade, the Ramen Icharaku from the Naratu palette. It's a matte, but it has like little glitters. And I thought this would look good, just dusted over everything to add a little bit bigger of glitter just everywhere. Yeah, that's really nice. Ooh, yeah, that made it really fun. 
All right, I'm gonna put some lashes on. I pulled the Lily Lashes Can Lashes, which are kind of like separated, a little bit shorter, but I feel like will go really well with this winged liner. So I'm gonna decompress real quick and I'll be right back to talk more shit. <laughs> All right, lashes are on. I wanna add a little more blush. So hopefully that won't shoot across the room. But I just also want to say, I feel like I haven't seen anyone else talk about this aspect of her accountability video. Girl, she, the most work she has put in in a while is finding that old zip up hoodie, throwing that on to get us familiar with how humble she is again. And to just actually create a whole ass ad, okay? So you watch the 17 minutes and you get to the end and she is just talking about a product that's about to launch that's like nothing we've ever seen. Girl, we have seen it all and we have seen bad products come from a plethora of brands, including your own. There is nothing that is going to be original about what you launch, but ooh, girl, ooh. The ad of it all, the entire thing is an ad. It's an ad. You don't want to sell things. You don't want to be a business owner, but you just want to push your products. It's just crazy like how elementary her manipulation is. So for 17 minutes, she's telling you she's tired of selling stuff and looking like an ad. When the entire video is a lead up to get you to buy something. I mean, come on. I cannot be the only one that saw that hoodie and went, uh-oh, here we go. You know, not an apology at all. Not, no accountability was taken. It was just like, so some of these people like didn't do this thing that they should have done. And so like, you know, I kind of took advantage and like, oops, like I shouldn't have. And like, I just don't want to look like this anymore. I don't want to be the blanket girl. I don't want to be the cozy girl. There's so many things that she says, just like all of the shitty things she said about the trademarking thing, you know, <laughs> at least it's trademarked. <laughs> It's so mean girl and so is, I don't wanna be known as the blanket girl. I don't wanna be known as the cozy girl. That's such a dig at Kaylin again. Like what, 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 what? Like just the audacity. Let's put some highlighter on. I'm gonna use the new Laura Mercier liquid highlighter in the shade Champagne Pink since we are going pretty. I hate this packaging. I, I just, I need brands to stop with this. It's such a waste of product in the end and just, you know, it's just messy, but there's a lock on it. It's just like the Charlotte Tilbury spotlight highlighters, beauty wand. Why did I say spotlight? I think that's the shade that I like the most. Love the actual highlighter that comes with it, inside of it. Anyway, I'm so curious to see the product that Jacqueline is selling in the video. <laughs> I'm excited to see that actually happen. Let's see what you're selling, girl. All you're gonna do forever is just not go away because you have enough people fooled, not even fooled, just the people, enough people that don't care. They're gonna continue to financially support you and you're just gonna stay around. And that's why it's up to me and you and other larger creators to stop supporting people like Jaclyn Hill so we can take this community back, make it about makeup and beauty and feeling good and communicating with each other and just bring it back to the fun again. And I'm telling you right now, I am here to start speaking up, speaking out. Let me know, you know, is there anything that I have said so far that has, you know, rung true for you? How do you feel as a viewer just watching all of this go down? I know that having been, been a part of this industry and also on reality TV and working in LA and working at the heart of this industry, there's so much that I haven't said, so much that I haven't shared because I've been afraid that I'm gonna say something in the wrong way that like is misunderstood and like I don't wanna, you know, step on the toes of people around me. All the while I get drowned out by people that I've helped, that people who I have built up and promoted to not only like, I didn't do these things to expect anything back, but I definitely didn't expect them to then just walk across me, you know, step on my toes, not, 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 you know, turn around and say that, you know, a $1 product is just as good as a product that Mallory Brooke had just launched a video about saying that it's good. I tell you what's good because it is good. I tell you what's bad because it is bad. It's that simple. It's that easy. This is supposed to be fun, informative, and 
we can help guide each other on where to spend money and where not to spend money. I just don't know why we've allowed the waters to get so muddy. All right, we're gonna add a berry lip that's gonna bring this glowy goodness all together. I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk in medium two. And then after I apply my lips, we can go over some of my tweets and read some of the responses. I feel like we need to deepen up like the inner corner a little bit. So let's, let's do that. I'm gonna go into Scorpius again. And I just kind of want to bring this up this way. And you, by using a brush and not your finger, it's a little less pigmented. Oh yeah. I feel like that adds just the right amount of drama. And I'm using a BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A504 brush. That's another thing, like the affiliate code thing. I don't make money on discount codes. You guys just save money. And I do have a code with BK Beauty. It's Mallory10, Mallory? I'll have it in the info below. I have so many discount codes. They don't make me money, you know? But my affiliate links do, and I have no shame in that. And just so you know, larger creators do get affiliate discount codes that make them money on top of the affiliate links. So, you know, I don't, I, I just, oof, must be nice. And I said this in a recent video that it's, I, I, this was before Jacqueline uploaded her video. I was like, I'm not Jacqueline Hill. I don't just like randomly make money on discount codes. I'm not there yet. And it's like, can brands also please stop working with liars? Oh wait, no, because they always get the views and the views get brands traction. Okay, I really like that. That added just what I wanted. Just a little balance with the wing, you know? For lipstick, I'm gonna use the Merit lipstick in the shade Fashion which is a really beautiful berry shade. And I've been really challenging myself with not just using neutrals all the time to have a little more fun with makeup. Ooh, this is like a, this lip combo is like a classic lipstick. Like when I was little thinking of like lipstick, I would think of like a berry shade, you know? Another thought that I kind of have on this is like, I've heard a couple people say that honey, 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 they feel, they feel, a little sorry for Jacqueline. Don't feel sorry for her. It's a way that she uses guilt to, you know, okay, so naturally feel sorry for someone for making so many mistakes that they've like literally let two businesses fail, right? Uh, but, but like don't, we're in this like strange loop where people are feeling sorry for her to where they get out their wallets and go, I am so sorry, I feel bad for you. Here's my money. And that's exactly what she wants. You can feel sorry for someone, but still hold them accountable and help them change. So if you're a true fan and you really care about Jaclyn Hill, then hold her accountable uh, the only way for her to, you know, really do well in life is if she changes some major aspects, like it, as who she is as a person, because you can't destroy other people's businesses and then go, eh, I don't want it anymore and be a good person and like continue to be that way and ever, you know, and have people just say what you're doing is wonderful. And don't worry, girl, get your bag and go. Nobody's changing. <gasps> Why would she? She's got support, she's got money. Well, not enough to keep these two businesses afloat. Cause like I said, I guarantee you, she is not doing it out of the kindness of her heart. So just start holding people accountable. You know, if you're really a fan and you wanna see her do better and have businesses that thrive and have her do what she really loves, she's held accountable and changes. I guarantee you she won't be struggling as much mentally and emotionally if she really is. All right. Let's read some of my tweets and some of your responses and a lot of strangers responses. Wow, I really got found on Twitter, let me tell you. I said, you know, this is my response to the video. I'll read you my comment. I said, you single-handedly give this community a bad name. Shame on you and even more shame on you for not saying Kaylin's name. She isn't small. We addressed that earlier. She is in so many ways a bigger person and businesswoman than you could ever wish to be. Kaylin has always been such a graceful person in my opinion. I've watched her for years and years and she speaks very eloquently and very maturely. I said, stop gaslighting your audience. Like I've addressed here today in this video, 
you know, the gaslighting of like, oh, well, I just feel so bad for, you know, not putting effort into my brand. It was never your brand. Stop having people, wait, that wasn't your brand? And you continue to say that it was your brand. Jacqueline Cosmetics was never your brand. You were a collaborator. I said, own up to your lies and your behavior towards other women's, women and business owners. And then right under that, there's Manny. I'm proud of you, Jacqueline. I know this must be so hard, but you deserve happiness hard she has no choice but to close these businesses down manny please support people who deserve it in this community like i just don't understand it just perpetuates the poison and i don't get maybe he really doesn't see it but i highly doubt that i'm sure that he knows a lot more behind the scenes than we could ever imagine i said everyone deserves happiness but jacqueline hill does not deserve support any longer. Stop it. Please stop supporting this woman. Please, girl. Mm. 73,000 people saw that tweet. I was, usually I just pop off on Twitter, you know, and say my thoughts a little less filtered than I do on my YouTube channel because it feels like a safe, small space. Well, it, it did not remain that way. People just were like outraged, you know, She's not gonna quit YouTube. It's easy money. Her followers will keep supporting her. It's so true. It is so true. Everyone's gonna keep supporting her for some reason until, you know, it's like, oh, if your friend jumped off the bridge, would you too? Would you do it too? Before they could even jump off the bridge, girl, Jacqueline's pushing them off the bridge. <sighs> anyway, I really like this look. Berry Barbie, you know? You know, like instead of like very Barbie, like very Barbie, I'm liking it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this entire debacle. I'm, I think that she doesn't deserve the benefit of the doubt. And I know that I'm a smaller channel and I haven't been opinionated over the years, but I feel like I have a responsibility as someone who is in this industry and in this community to not stay quiet and just go, I'm just gonna keep swatching my lipsticks and liking Jaclyn Hill posts. Some people that I see like her posts and her Instagram stuff, it shocks me. I'm like, ooh, I thought you were smarter than that. <laughs> anyway, let us know your unfiltered thoughts below. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, I would love to have an actual, you know, constructive conversation about this because it really affects so many people, not just the beauty community, but employees of other brands and other business owners, I cannot stress that enough, that she literally destroyed people's livelihoods and just is like, I'm tired of playing with this ball, so I'm gonna go home. What? I cannot. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and getting ready with me and gossiping. And I would say be nice, I know I wasn't nice. I know it wasn't nice. I'm not here to say I feel a little sorry for her. I hope she wakes up one day. She is grown. She's 30 something. She knows exactly what she's doing and she knows exactly what she can get away with and that's why she continues to do it. I don't feel sorry for Jaclyn Hill. I feel sorry for everyone that has lost something because of this woman. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next one. She is a thief. All right.